I was told by lots of people that I was an introvert growing up and my social speech was actually hindered because of it. And I was put in a situation that resulted in me having selective mutism and I've done a whole video on that. But it's taken me moving to a whole other country and getting a whole new set of friends and everything and making a life for myself to realize I am an extrovert. I have a dog-like personality. I just want to be happy and make friends. I like talking to other people and being around other people and going out and going to parties and engaging with the party and going to events and engaging with the event. I've always enjoyed putting myself out there. Recently I went to the premiere for Top Gun. Oh my goodness, it was so good and I went with my friend Adele and I love Adele. Adele is just gorgeous, gorgeous person. It's so fun just to smile and chat with her. Tom also brought his dad. It was so sweet. His dad is high up in the Navy and I think he loved it and I think it meant a lot to him so that was really good. If I am in a crowd and there's an interactive activity about to happen, I want to be picked for it. I would love nothing more than to raise my hand and be like, yeah, let me impersonate the whale. <gasps> but yeah, Others in my life had made me feel like I was an introvert. I was told that I was happier if I was by myself. It told a fact about myself, wow. <laughs> Maybe I was like Rapunzel, put in a room and here's like paint. <laughs> so I'm not introverted. I was just conditioned to be quiet and to be by myself. So other people confused me into thinking I was introverted. There reached a point in my life where I realized I had to create my own sunshine. I had to create my own happiness. So I moved to a new place. I found friends that made me feel like the best version of myself, which ended up being the real version of myself. Whoa. <laughs> it's all very much been a process, but I've never felt more confident than I do now. I feel like if I was a sim, I've talked in the mirror for a very long time and my charisma score is top notch. <laughs> But I feel great, I feel good, I feel happy, I like everything, I organize everything, that's going to be a whole other video in itself. One of the things I was told by a family member was I should talk less because I'm not very interesting. That heavily influenced my content years ago, really, it made it so that I just wanted to even talk or speak sometimes and it was upsetting to me. <laughs> Ironically, that's also why I held off my podcast because I shared, again with someone close, podcast ideas and they're like, oh, but you're not that interesting. And I'm like, gee, thank you. Thank you for saying that. You are chipping away at my soul. And I'm not saying buys anymore because I have been told so many times that it actually means poop. I think I'm done with that. <laughs> Let me know what my sign off should be that's not poo. Huh, bye. Awesome, cool. I almost said it. <laughs>